welcome back and today I want to take you through a couple of things I've been working on with these snedited Gundams so as you can see that's the trickery admin commands I have figured out a way to do it legit but for testing purposes we're using ignore docking area um, but uh, basically yeah this is the arm and in there are some shields power and eventually AMC's at the front of the gun so it's all lined up straight and basically um, I had to realign the arm I had to edit the model take the head off take the arm off straighten up the arm straighten up the head and then I had to get the proportions right because obviously you can't just use the same box size <laughs> you just have a giant head um, figured out a way to mount it on the gun by having the core sort of float down there but obviously you build a shoulder see that's the idea you build the shoulder as part of the arm so it move and that would be fine um, and uh, and yeah I put some thrusters in here basic power I just wanted to see if I could get this thing to work obviously using the head and the arm as AI we've uh, headed towards this pirate station so this should be good I mean, problem was, uh, for some reason, I was getting no projectiles coming out of my AMCs. As you can see here, he's targeting the turrets. Probably some pirates far away first, and then he aims up. You can see it's it's acting as if it's shooting. However, there's no damage being done to anything, unless it w well, it appears like there's being damage done because you know there's a turret floating around on fire over there, and there's no one else here. Um, here I think I was getting too close to it because I didn't realise how long the gun was. But yeah, it, I don't know, it doesn't, you can't really see the projectile, which is, maybe it's just because this thing's so big. It's uh, 160 tall from head to toe. See, you can't see any projectiles. This is the only thing that was annoying. I couldn't see any projectiles. I couldn't see evidence that it was shooting at anything, to be honest. Except for that one turret that sort of popped off and... Unless that was a trading frigate, I don't know. But um, in any case, this is the model. It came out quite nice. I did basically, all, all the painting was done in Smedit, so I've done no finishing. This is very much a prototype. I mean, if it would work, I'd actually spend lots of time on detailing, getting it all exactly right, or as best I could, because, you know, it looks pretty good from a distance. It's just when you get up close, there's a few things I'd probably change a little bit here and there, just to balance it out. For the most part this one's pretty clean though to be honest the color helps a lot as well um, and that was done very very roughly zoomed out so you can't move the perspective in smedit so all you can do is rotate and that can be quite difficult to figure out what you're painting sometimes especially with something this big um, but yeah i think it came out okay it's one of my favorite smedits so far even though it's got a gappy arm <laughs> it's like a great big gap where the arm is it's because the sight. See, I was thinking about putting the sight on the other side of the model. Um, if I flip the gun round and put it, put it back in his hand before converting it, I'll be able to dock the arm right close up. But I already figured out a way to incorporate the chest into the arm. But yeah, as you can see, the turrets are on target. They're just not really shooting. Um, I did go and check all the outputs. I think I cut a little bit of that so you could see it. But... Um, so in the end, it just was graphically funny. <laughs> For cinematics, it looks great. You know, it's spot on. You can see the arm. It's firing straight at the pirate station. It looks great, but it doesn't actually fire. And so because of the frustrations of the... Because it could just be some kind of bug, I don't know. Because obviously you can't actually... Uh, look at him shooting back at it. That's a classic pose. Oh, it's brilliant. So anyway, because you, you don't realise, back in these old animes, they didn't really have much of that much animation. There weren't many frames per second. So to be honest, if I use close close shots, we wouldn't be able to discern it really if we had a good backgrounding and lots of other props. <laughs> As you can see, we got Big Zam in the background, who's going to be our sort of AI mini boss, see? creating a kind of Gunpla assault mini game where you smed it up your Gundam, fit it out inside as best you can, and then we all square off against Big Zam. Big Zam's about that's the big th that's the green and that's the green thing with purple toes in the background. Um, 
It's about four times bigger than this model we're looking at now. So this one here is my plan B, and this is what I've end I think I've ended up going with this in the end. Not as visually impressive, because he doesn't move, but basically what I've done here is I've taken the 3D model and I've squared it up. So if you can see the gun there, it's going straight. So unlike the first model, which was originally made by its creator, I've, all I've done is rotate it in, uh, in all the angles so that it'll make it like flat. So that when you convert it, he's facing forward. I also twisted his head a little bit, you know, and moved, the, you know, I had to reposition all the arms. But yeah, basically we're gonna do a short speed build to show you, you know, the basic idea. But you've all done this before with a, with a ship. Put your guns in, put your powers in. Put your thrusts on, and that's it. That's all there is to it. So uh, uh, here we go. And like I say, I, to be honest, I probably wouldn't have filled it out like this time. I thought to myself, yeah, I'm going to fill out the entire gun so that it's like 100% full of cannons, and then they'll all count towards that one little projectile that'll come out at the end. However, that didn't work. What actually happened was uh, I got annihilated by pirates and then when I went back to where the ship was it was gone so I had to start again <laughs> but I thought I'd leave that in there just you know but anyway like I was saying um, look at me searching around for it where is it this isn't the one where is it can't find it anywhere gone it, they killed me and killed my uh, my work in progress my own fault you know but then I'd only put a few turrets inside a hollow gun so it's not really a crying shame so anyway, spawned in another one and got started. So anyway, like I was saying, I filled in the entire um, of this thing with guns, but the problem was that the projectiles weren't coming out the front. So I need to work out what that's about. Um, it's a sort of limiting factor because the way you get the power into this rifle is by making the whole rifle an AMC array then it'll be a decent well maybe I don't need to make it that big I'll make one that's just as long as the barrel and see because these things don't need to be OP they just need to fire for the purposes of the mini game I think I've got two more models um, which I'll be showing I think you might see a sneak of them in this but maybe at the end but uh, to be honest for the most part it's uh, the next video where I'll be showing off a few more of those models which I've been editing because that's it I put full links to the creators of all these 3d models and I've shown tutorials on the process I use how you can get the tool and do it yourself it's not that difficult you just need a semi decent PC because uh, it does require quite a bit of uh, crunching power uh, to voxelize some of these models especially if you're going to make them huge but you know there's ways there's ways there's always ways around it uh, but ultimately you know so you get a silhouette which is really accurate but you still have to actually go inside it and do all the rest so um, it does take probably about the same time to create in fact it takes longer I think to create one of these in, in a complete form due to the fact that you're working around a shape that you didn't build which is like you know when you're building something of your own design you are the architect and you know where everything goes and where everything is but with these you sort of don't really know where it's all going <laughs> and it can be very chaotic inside them even if you ha hollow the interiors and uh, that can make things difficult fitting things in even though there's va loads of space it's just all wasted and even though there is an element to having a light mass ship you know there is an element to it's not finished <laughs> you know so it depends what your attitude is I guess to design but um, anyway most people work on a sort of uh, ratio of air you know so they've got so much mass to so much air uh, but it depends how dense you want the ship to be if it's going to be really super dense it's not going to have any air it's going to be hardened hull everywhere so anyway, moving on, putting shields in the arms, because I just thought, hey, that'd be a comical place to put them. There's an energy reactor running from top to bottom. Um, and I think I did tune the, oh yeah, I tuned these for no reload, no distance, a little bit of speed, but mostly damage. And as you can see, it's firing. 
but it's, you're only seeing the 35 damage hit. You're not seeing the big damage hit. And then when you actually look at it, the projectiles seem to be coming out of the top of the gun, not the end of the gun, which is like, ah. Uh, easy way to fix that is obviously just to shave the top off the group. It's a testing prototype. But it flies, it shoots, even though it doesn't shoot down the barrel. I'll fix that on the next one. And uh, I'll be making another couple, all in different styles and colors. So we can uh, have a face off with the big Zam. Be great if in the new build the uh, turret arm version works because I found out a way to do that legit. All I gotta do is rotate the core down 90 degrees. There's your tip. Um, but there we go. So we have projectiles, people. <laughs> They're not coming out of the gun. They're coming out the back at the top, which is not the output I chose. Um, and they're only hitting for 35, which is only one of the groups. There's like two groups, and one of them is just no projectile. So I was sort of at this point thought, you know what? I think it's going to be back to the drawing board. <laughs> so thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Oh no! <laughs> I've killed some spine, First thing I tried to build was my surfboard, <laughs> and obviously that doesn't really work. You have to get in the cockpit. And release the docking cables. <laughs> <laughs>